All right, let's take a look at the large intestine meridian. The large intestine meridian is the companion meridian to the lung meridian. The lung meridian runs on the um, yin side of the radial bone and along the yin or anterior aspect of the arm to the chest. The large intestine meridian runs along the yang side of the radial bone. So it begins on the index finger. It travels uh, across the hand on the yang side of the radial bone into the elbow. It's used for treating pain in the hand, pain in the wrist, pain in the elbow, all along the pathway of the meridian. It travels through the shoulder. The large intestine meridian is a, a very important meridian for treating pain and, uh, and discomfort and tightness in the shoulder. It also runs through the neck, addressing the scalenes and the sternocleidomastoid. And then it comes up across the, the jaw, across the teeth, across the front of the mouth, and it ends on the side of the face, on the side of the uh, nose in the nasolabial groove, level with the middle of the alanazi. So the large intestine meridian is one of the is the actually the only meridian of the cardinal meridians that crosses the midline, and it crosses the midline on the face from both sides. And so we need to keep the large intestine meridian in mind for any kind of pain or discomfort in the teeth, in the face, in the jaw, in the head overall. So um, large intestine meridian. Again, it's important to keep in mind the entire pathway of the meridian. Now let's look at the individual points. Large intestine one is located at the corner of the nail on the index finger, the radial corner of the nail. So again, if we draw our two imaginary lines, this brings us to large intestine one. Large intestine two um, is located, uh, the, the large intestine meridian runs um, along the yang aspect of the radial bone. Um, so if we just keep in mind that pathway, we can find all the rest of the points. Large intestine one, large intestine two is just distal to the first metacarpal phalangeal joint. Large intestine three, just proximal to the first metacarpal phalangeal joint. Large intestine four is in the middle of this muscle right here. It's easy to find large intestine four. The way that we locate it clinically and needle it is that we would take and kind of squeeze the thumb and index finger together and we come to the highest point on this muscle. The highest point on this muscle is right there. Tap the needle in and stimulate it. You can even see the muscle jump a little bit there. It's not unusual to get a strong stimulation at large intestine four. Large intestine five is located in the anatomical snuff box. Can I ask you to spread your fingers for me? And if you spread your fingers, we can see the snuff box show up right there. All right. This is large intestine five, and this is a um, common point for pain in the wrist and also for pain in the thenar eminence. Right. Large intestine six, seven, and eight, nine um, are less commonly used points. Uh, we're not going to go over them right now, but they run along the large intestine meridian. Large intestine 10 is fairly commonly used. It's a good uh, adjacent point for shoulder pain. It's two sun or two divisions down from large intestine 11. So to find large intestine 11, we'll ask Monique if she'd put her hand on her heart for us. And we come to the end of the elbow crease. Okay, you can relax your arm again. And this is large intestine 11. Large intestine 10, as I mentioned before, it's two sun down. And we've established that my index finger is the same width as Monique's thumb. So if I come to sun down and I, I'm along this line from large intestine 4 to large intestine 11, I can find large intestine 10. And again, it's in a hollow, in a spot where your finger will naturally stop when moving along the pathway. So it's large intestine 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Large intestine 12, uh, large intestine 11, by the way, is a important point for treating heat in the upper body, and also a good local point for elbow pain. Monique is being very patient with all these needles that we're demonstrating on her. Um, large intestine 12 is one sun proximal and one sun lateral to large intestine 11. So if we move one sun lateral, one sun proximal, and then we find ourselves in the epiphysis of the bone of the humerus. Large intestine 12, shows up right about here. 
Very good point for elbow pain. Now we'll move up the shoulder a little bit to large intestine 14, 15, and 16. Large intestine 14 is located at the bottom of the deltoid, so we can easily describe the deltoid with our fingers, and it's needled right here. It's a perpendicular insertion, about an inch, uh, you know, three quarters of an inch to an inch in, in depth. Very good point for shoulder pain. Large intestine 15 is located in what we call the anterior eye of the shoulder. So if you reach and grab somebody's shoulder on either side of the top of the deltoid, we can usually find the anterior and posterior eye of the shoulder. There's also a middle eye of the shoulder. All of these points are good for shoulder pain, but we'll, and we'll look at them later. But the anterior eye of the shoulder is large intestine 15, and large intestine 16 is found in the AC joint, in the acromial clavicular joint, and needled right here. So let me show you how we would kneel these points. Large intestine 14 at the bottom of the deltoid. Large intestine 15. And large intestine 16. My teacher, Dr. So, would locate large intestine 15 really actually in the middle eye of the shoulder. He said that the large intestine meridian travels this way. And I think you can needle large intestine 15 in either of these points. It seems to make more sense for large intestine 15 to show up there at the middle of the uh, shoulder. That really is more the pathway of the meridian. Large intestine 17 and 18 are on the neck here, and mostly these points are palpated for. So when we're treating the points in the scalenes or in the uh, sternocleidomastoid, we are usually looking for trigger points in this area. And so rather than worry about the actual location of the individual points, we tend to treat these points by palpation. So we're not going to go over those right now. And the last point that we're going to look at on the large intestine meridian is large intestine 20. The large intestine 20 is located well, if we were to stay with the left-hand meridian, large intestine 20 shows up over here. But for um, ease of demonstration, I'm going to ask Monique if you just turn your head a little bit this way, and I will demonstrate large intestine 20 on the left, on uh, from the the left meridian, which actually shows up on the right-hand side, and it's right here. Sorry about that pinch. Sometimes these face points can be a little sensitive. There we go. Okay. And there's the large intestine meridian.